Good morning, everyone. Uh, happy Monday to you. I hope that you found some moments of rest and renewal over the weekend. It was certainly a beautiful snowy morning uh, yesterday morning, and so I hope that you were able to enjoy that. Uh, this, as I come to you this morning, uh, we are continuing our Lenten uh, practice of sharing the Psalms, uh, reading the Psalms, and today's Psalm is uh, Psalm 4. So I want to share it first with you from the New Revised Standard Version, and then uh, share two other little little uh, twists on it. But let's uh, first hear these words of Psalm 4, um, a Psalm of David. Answer me when I call, O God of my right. You give me room, you gave me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. How long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder it on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their grain and wine abound. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. The second and the eighth verse of this psalm particularly stood out to me. So the second verse, again, from our first translation saying, How long, you people, shall my, how long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? That phrase, we'll come back to it. The message puts it this way. You rabble. How long do I put up with your scorn? How long will you lust after lies? How long will you live crazed by illusion? That's a little bit different take, isn't it? But it's still getting at the same thing. Talking about um, lies and crazing after illusion. And then the third one that I wanted to share, this comes from um, a Bible that Billy Busby uh, Smith, our music director, let me borrow. It's the African American Devotional Bible. Um, it uses uh, the King James language, but this is how uh, this Bible um, phrases that second verse. O ye son of, sons of men, how long will you t ye turn my glory into shame? Let me try that one more time. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? We have seen so much the distortion of truth in our world, in our society over the last number of years. And it seems as though some people even actively seek out the lies. They seek out their own narrative and their own story. And that's not something of from just a political, ideological or political spectrum, right? I think in a certain way, we all seek after that which confirms what we hold true, right? We, we seek those things that um, lift up our, our beliefs and our thinking. So, so, but I think it's particularly disturbing over the last couple of years in particular to just see how, how distorted the truth has become and how some work overtime to pro uh, promulgate lies and, um, and untruth. I think it's also really interesting that take on how, how long will you people be crazed by illusion, by this, this vision of something? And that vision could be what we think our lives used to be and that there was this some great time when life was, was the best it's ever been or some great time in our nation's history when it was the great time, right? Harkening back to what seemed like a great era, even though there was hardship and suffering and marginalization of so many people. So that's what stood out to me today was that those, those phrases about how long will you, but I'm going to put it into a, a reflective language, how long will I look, you know, seek out lies or things that only confirm what I believe? How long will I live a, a vain life, a life focused on my own personal sense of well-being and um, 
extravagance, really. I mean, just how long will I be so self-centered? Um, these are important questions to ask, I think, um, particularly in this day and age uh, when, when truth seems so elusive, but it's something that we really have to come together as a society to find what are those things we can agree on. Uh, how do we develop a narrative that, that brings us together as people? Um, it's, really, it's really important. The last, the last one then is the final verse, which I think I just want to share it almost as a benediction. I'll share it in the three versions as a benediction, but it really, the words remind me of Psalm 23, and they, they really have a, a calming effect. So let me share this with you as a benediction as we close out today. So again, uh, from the New Revised Standard Version. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. Or another way, for you, God, have put my life back together. At day's end, I'm ready for sound sleep. Or another version. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. I do hope that you all have a peaceful day and that these words of Psalm 4 um, have touched you in some way. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.